until recently since this since the 2018 flood it, it's been not good since opening in 2011 sweet elizabeth jane has survived two devastating floods on main street in old ellicott city the town is open for business and we're we're here and uh you know their life is normal for us um, and we're happy for them to be here and uh, to come experience Main Street. Small Business Saturday is typically the busiest day of the year at Sweet Elizabeth Jane. Do you want this in the bag? Receipt? It's the first Small Business Saturday for Sayers Eden Boutique. The business moved on to Main Street after May's flood. This has been a really good day despite the weather and everything we've had a good day and uh, you know these kinds of things you know can make or break a small business. According to the National Retail Federation, 67 million people were expected to shop on Saturday. 78% of people surveyed said they would do so specifically to support small businesses. It's always nice to support a local community. And, you know, I've lived here for a number of years, and I've always tried to support the businesses in and around the area, you know, because it means a lot to them. And these are families that are trying to, you know, put food on tables and, you know, put kids in college and things like that. So, you know, it's important. This mattered a lot for us today, a lot. So, and yesterday, and they came and they supported and they still are, and it's amazing, but it matters a lot right now. If you miss Small Business Saturday, you'll have another chance to support Ellicott City shops during Midnight Madness. That event is scheduled for December 7th. Live in the studio tonight, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.